Here beginneth the nichtest tale. Willom, as all the stories tellen us, there was a duke that hicht the seus. Of Athenes he was lord and governor, and in his time a swich a conqueror. That greater was there noon under the sun, full many a rich country had he won. What with his wisdom and his chivalry, he conquered all the reign of Femenye. That Willum was eclepid Scythia, and where there the queen Hippolyta. He brought her whom with him in his country, with Mitchell glory, great solemnity, and eke her younge sister Emily, and thus with victory and with melody, let I this noble duke to Athenes ride, and all his host in arms him beside. And certes, if it ne'er too long here, I would have told yow fully the manner how wonnen was the reign of Femine, by Theseus and by his chivalry, and of the great battle for the nones betwixt an Athenes and Amazonus, and how a seged was Hippolyte, the fair e hardy queen of Scythia, and of the feast that was at her wedding, and of the tempest at her homecoming. But all the thing in I moot was now forbear, I have, God woot, a large field to air, and wake a bean the oxen in my plough, the remnant of the tale is long enough. I will not let an eke suit noon of this route, let a fellow er tell his tale aboot, and let say now who shall by supper win, and there I left her, I will again begin. This duke, of whom I make mention, one he was come almost unto town, in all his wella and in his muste pride, he was war as he cast his eye aside. Where that there nailed in the highway, a company of ladies, twe and twe, ech after Uther clad in cloths blake, but switch a cry and switch a woe they make, that in this world nis creature living, that heard switch another waymenting, and of this cry they nulled never stetten till they the reins of his bridle hetten. What folk been ye, that at mine homecoming, perturban so my feaste with crying? Quod Theseus, have ye so great envy of mine honour, that thus complain ye and cry? Or who hath yow misboden or offended? And telleth me if it may be amended. And why that ye been clothed thus in black, the eldest lady of hem all is spack, when she had this wounded with a diddly cheer, that it was rothe for to see and hear, and said, Lord, to whom fortune hath given victory, and as a conqueror to laven, not grieveth us your glory and your honour, but we beseken mercy and succour, have mercy on our woe and our distress, some drop of pity through ye gentleness. Upon us, wretched women, let thou falle, for certes, Lord, there is noon of us all that she ne hath been a duchess or a queen, now be we caitivus, as it well be seen, thanked be fortune in here false wailer, that noon estat assureth to be weal, and certes, Lord, to abiden your presence here in the temple of the goddess Clemence. We han been waiting all this fortinecht, but now help us, Lord, sith it is in my mecht, I rech, which that weapon and wailest thus, was Wilhelm, waif to King Capaneus. That starf at Thebes, cursed be that day, and all that we been in this array, and macken all this lamentation, we losten all our house bonds at that tone. Will that the seeing thereabout lay, and yet now the old crayon wail away? That lord is now of Thebes, the city, fulfilled of ire and of iniquity. 
he for despot and for his tyranny, to do the deed bodies villainy of all their o'erlordes, which eh, that hath been slow, hath all the bodies on an heap a drow. And wall not suffering hem by noon ascent, neither to been a burden nor a brent, but maketh houndis et him hem in despit, and with that word with Uten more respite. They fill and gruff, and cridden piteously, Have on us wretched woman some mercy, And let our sore we sinken in thine heart, This gentle duke doon from his coast and start. Here with the piteous, when he heard him speak, Him thought that his heart would break, When he saw them so piteous and so mad, that Willem wherein of so great a start, and in his armes he hem alle appehente, and hemme confronteth in full good intente, and swore his oath, as he would treve nicht, he wolden doon so forthly his mecht, upon the tyrant crayon hem to reek, that all the people of grace should speak. How Crayon was of Theseus he served, as he that had a his deed a full well deserved, and right anoon withouten moor abroad his banner he displayeth and forth rude, to Thebes ward, and all his host besieder, no near Athenis would he go ne reader, ne take his essay full half a day, but on the word, on his way that nicht he lay, and set anon Hippolyta their queen, and Emily her younger sister sheen, unto the tune of Athenis to dwell, and for he writ there his anamore to tell. The red the statue of Mars, with spear and targa, so shineth in his white banner large, and all the feebles glittering up and doon, and by his banner gorn his penoon of gold full rich, in which there was a bet, the minotaur, which he hath slow in crate. Thus writ this duke, thus writ this conqueror, and in his host of chivalry the floor, till that he that come to Thebes and alecht, fair in a field there as he thought to fecht. But shortly, for to specken of this thing, with Creon, which was that Thebesian king, he fought, and sloch him manly as a nicht, and playin battle, and put the folk to flicht. And by assault he won the city after, and rent adun both wall and spar and rafter. And to the ladies he sestored again the bones of here friendes that were slain, to doon obsequies as was though the gips, but it were all too long for to devise. The great clamour and the waymenting that the lady made to the braining of the bodies and the great honour that Theseus, the noble conqueror, doth to the ladies won, they from him wente. But shortly for to tell is men intente. One that is worthy duke, this Theseus, hath Creon slain and won Thebes thus. Still, in that fielder he took all nicht his rest, and did with all the country as him lest, to ransake in the tass of bodies deed, him for to strep of harness of weed. The pillars didden, bisnes and cure, after the battle and the discomfiture, and so befell that in the tass they found a thurgert with many a grievous bloody wound. Two young nichts ligain by and by, both in oon arms rocht full richly, of which eh, two arkita hicht that non, and that uther nicht hichte palamon. Not fully quake, nate fully deed they were, uh, but by here court amors and by here gear, the heradis knew him best in special, as they that weren of blood royal. The Thebes of him and of Susteren to e born, out of the tass the pillows han him torn, and had him carried softly unto the tente of Theseus, and he full swoon him centre, to Athenis, to dwell and in prison perpetually, no nolde, no ransom, 
and one this worthy duke hath thus he done he took his hoost his whom he writ anon with laurer crowned as conqueror and there he liveth in joy and in honour term of his life what needeth words more and in tour and in anguish and in woe dwell in this palamore and eke actrit for evermore there may no gold in him quit this passeth year by year and day by day till it fill once in a morway of may that emmeline the fairer was to sene than is the liar upon his stalk grainy and fresher than the may with flowers new for with the rose-coloured stroof here hew i knew which was the fairer of him to ere it was day as was here one to do she is arisen and already dicht for me wool hath no skulgardy a nicht the susan pricketh every gentle heart and maketh him out of his sleep to start and says aris and do thine observance and maked emmeline have remembrance to do an honour to me and for to rise e clothed was she fresh for to devise her yellow hair was broided in a tress behind her back and yer along i guess and in the garden at the sauna uprist she walketh up and doen and her list she gathereth flowers party white and red and make to subtle garland for her head and as an angel heavenishly she sung the great tour that was so thick and strong which of the castle was the chief don john there as the nichtes were in prison of which i told a yow and tellin shall was even giant to the garden wall there as this emmeline had here plenting bright was the sun and clear that morwengin and palamon this woeful prisoner as was his one by lever of his jailor was risen and roamed in a chamber on hech and which he all the noble city sech and eke the garden full of branches green there as this fresh emmeline the sheen was in here a walk and roamed up and down this sorrowful prisoner this palamon goth in the chambrech a romich in a to and fro and to himself complaining of his woe that he was born full oft he said alas and so biffle by adventure or cas and there a window thicker of many a bar of iron grit and squar as any spar he cast his eye upon emmelea and therewithal he blamed a cred eh as though he strong and were unto the heart and with that cry arsite anon upstart and said cousin mine what aileth thee thou art so pale and dead lay to see why cridest thou who hath thee done offence for goddess love tak in all patience or a prison for it may noon uther be fortune hath yeven as this adversity uh, some wicked aspect disposition of saturner by some constellation hath even as this although we had it swoon to stood the heaven one that we were born we must endure it this the short and plain this palamon answered and said again cousin for sooth of this opinion thou hast a vain imagination this prison caused me not for to cry for i was hurt right now through and by mine an eye into min heart and woe my bane be the fairness of that lady that i see yon in the garden roman to and fro i cause of all my crying and my woe and not where she be woman or goddess but venus it is soothly as i guess and therewithal on knees doen he fell and said venus if it be thy will yow in this garden thus to transfigure before me sore wherefore wretched creature out of this prison help that we may scappen and if so be my destiny be sharpen by eternal word and dying in prison of our leg and some compassion that is so low uh, the obrichte and tirne 
and that the word a kitty gan espire, wes as this lady rome to and fro, and with that sicht her beauty hurt him so, that uh, if that palamon was wounded sore, archite is hurt as much as he or more, and with a sigh he saith piteously, the fresher beauty sleeth me suddenly, of hire that roameth in the yonder place, and but I have here mercy and here grace, that I may see here at a least away, I nam but deed, there is na more to say. This palamon, one he though word is heard, dispiteously he looked and answered, Whither seest thou in the earnest or in play? Nay, quoth Akite, in earnest be my fay. God help me so me listful evil play, this palamon gan knit his brows twaye. It ne, quod he, to thee no great honour, for to be false, ne'er for to be traitor. To me that am thy cousin and thy brother, is sworn full depe and ech of us till other, that never for to deen in the pain, till at the death departed shall us twain neither of us in love to hinder other ne in noon uther cas my leave brother but that thou shouldest trewel ni fortneth me in every cas as i shall for them thee this was thine oath and mine also certain i would right well thou dest it not wasein thus art thou of my counsel out of doubt eh? and now the boldest falsely be about her to love my lady whom i love and serve and ever shall till that men heart starve nay certes false arcite thou shalt not so i loved her first eh, and told thee my woe as in my counsel and to my brother sworn to father me i have foretold before for which thou art e bounden as a nicht to help me if it lay in thy micht or else art thou false i dar well sayin this archite full proudly spak again thou shalt quod he be rather false than i but thou art false i tell thee out wryly, for paramo i loved here first ere thou Wit Wilton sane, thou wittest not ye now, whether ye she be woman or a goddess, thine this affection of holiness, and mine is love as to a creature for which I told thee mean adventure. As to my cousin and my brother sworn, I pose that thou lovedest here before. Was thou not well the old clocks so eh, that who shall yever a love any law love is greater law by my pan than may be ever of earthly man and therefore positive law eh, in swift decree is broken all day for love in ech degree a man mot ne this love maugri his deed he may not flee it though he should de be deed all be she made and wede or ellis with and eke it is not likely all thy leaf to stolen in her grace na more shall i for well thou wouldst thyself and verily that thou and i be dampened to prison perpetually and gaineth no ransom we striven as did they the hounds for the boon they fought all day and yet here part was noon there come a kite will thy weren so wroth and bar away the boon betwixt them both and therefore at the king's court my brother ech a man for himself there is noon over love is the list for i love and i shall and soothly leave brother this is all here in this prison mute we endure and every of us take his adventure grief was the strife and long betwixt him twain if that i had laser for to sane but to the effect it happened on a day to tell it yow as shortly as i may a worthy duke that hicht porotheus that fawel was unto duke theseus same silky day that they were children alight was come to athenis his fellowe to visit 
and for to play as he was wont to do for in this world he loveth no man so and he loved him as tenderly again as well they loved as olde books sayn that one that oot was deed soothly to tell his fellow went and sochte him doon in hell but that of the story list me not to write duke porthios loved well archite and had they him known that thebes year by year and finally at request and prayer porthios withouten any ransom duke theseus him leet out of prison frilly to gun where that him liste over all in swich a guise as i you tellen shall this was the forward uh, plainly for tendent betwixt theseus and him archite that if so were that archite were he found a vera in his lift by day or nicht or stound in any country of this theseus and he were caught and it was accorded thus that with a sword he should elisa his heed there nas noon uther remedy he need but taketh his leve and homeward he him sped let him be war his neck lith to wed how great to swore it suffereth now our kite the deepeth he feeleth urch his hair to smite he weepeth waileth crieth piteously to slean himself he waiteth privily he said alas that day that he was born and now is my prison worse than before now is me ship eternally to dwell not in purgatory but in hell alas that ever now i perotheus for ellis had i dwelled with theseus he fettered in this prison evermore than I had i been blisse and not in woe only for sicht of higher whom i serve though that i never hear grace ne deserve Wolde hand sufferest right enough for me o oh, dear cousin palamorn quod he for thine is the victory of this adventure full blissfully in prison made studiora in prison certes nay but in paradise well hath fortune eterned e thee this dice that hast the sight of hera and in thy absence for possible is sin thou hast here presence and art a nicht a worthy and able that by some cast in fortune is changeable thou mayest to thy desire some time attain but i that am exiled and barren of all a grace and in so great despair that the nurse eth wert fair or air nay creature that of him mac it is that may me help or doon confront in this well och to i sterve and one hope in distress if i well my lif my lust and my gladness alas why plain and folk in so communi of persuavance of god or of fortune that daveth hem full ofter in many a guise well better than they can himself devise some man desireth for to han riches that cause is of his murder of great sickness and some man would out of his prison fain that in his house is of his many slain infinite harmless being this matira he witten not that thing we pray in here he fallen as he that drunk is a mouse a drunk man would well he hath an house but he knew which the right way is thither and to a drunk man the way is slider and certes in this world so far and we we second faster after felicity but we goon wrong full oft trewelly thus we may say in alle and namely i that wende and had a great opinion that if i micht escapen from prison than had i been in joy and perfect heel there now i am exiled fro my will sin that i may not see you emily but i nam deed there nis no remedy upon that uther side a palamon one that he wist their archite was agone swich swore that he maketh the greater tour resoundeth of his youngling and clamour 
the pure fetteress on his shyness great weren of his bitter salty tears wet alas quod here a kite cos in mine of all our strife god wot the fruit is thine thou walkest now in thebes at thy large and of my woe thou yevest little charge thou mayest sin thou hast wisdom and manhead assemblin alle the folk of our kindred and make aware so sharp on this city that by some adventure or some treaty thou mayest have here to lady and to wife for whom that i most needest less my life for as by way of possibility sith thou art thy large of prison free and art a lord greet is thine avantage more is in him that sterve here in a cage for i moot weppe and waile whilst i live and with the woe that prison may me yeva and yeek with pain that love me yeveth so that doubleth all my torment and my woe therewith the fire of jealousy upstarte and within his breast and hente him by the hearte so worldly that he like was to behold eh, the box-tree or the ashen dead and cold thane said he o oh, cruel goddess that governor this world of binding of your word eterner and written on the table of atomont your parliament and your etern grunt what is mankind more unto you holde than is the sheep that rooketh in the folde for slain is man right as another beast and dwell eke in prison and a east and hath silkness and great adversity and often times a guiltless pardi what governance is this prescience that guiltless tormenteth innocence and yet increaseth this all my penance that man is bounden to her observance for god's sake to letten of his will there as a beast may all his lust fulfil and when a beast is deed he hath no pain but man after his death moot weppe and plain through in this world he hath cares and woe with outen doubt it may stonden so the answer of this letter i divine uh, well but i wot that in this world greet pinus alas i see a serpent or a thief that many trow a man hath done mischief goon at his large and where a him list may turn but i moot been in prison thirk satun and eke thirk juno jealous and eke wood that hath destroyed well nigh all the blood of thebes with heis west valus wide and venus sleeth me on that uther side for jealousy and fairer of him are kite now wol i stint of palamon a light and let him in his prison still le dwell and of arkita forth i wol you tell the summer passeth and the nichts long in crescent double wise the pain is strong both of the lover and of the prisoner i note which hath woeful mester for shortly for to say in this palamon perpetually is dampened to prison in chains and in fetters been deed and our kite is exiled upon his heed for ever more as out of that country no never more shall he see his lady your lover's axe i now question who hath the worse archite or palamon that oon may see his lady day by day but in prison he mo dwell away that uther where him list may ride or go but seen his lady shall he never mo now demeth as you liste ye that can for i will tell a forth as i began thus ende the nichts teller parte the forst